EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the final leg of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live second round coverage of the PGA Tour season finale. Welcome to TPC Sawgrass, known for one of the most terrifying holes in all of golf, the 17th Island Green. This is Rich Lerner alongside my colleague Frank Navalo for EA Sports, and we'll be calling all the action for today's event. Frank, you're no stranger to this layout, one of the most demanding golf courses on tour. Well, it certainly is. There's water abound. This course is famous for its tragedies as well as its triumphs. But if you get through here successfully, then you can certainly pat yourself on the back. Frank, you've been there. What's the best way to approach this next shot at the seventh hole? There's a lot of mounding on this uh, seventh green, you know, to the right and the left. You can use those mounds to kick the ball to the flag. Should be safely on deck. That will be a great look at birdie. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. That is some good work right there. Birdie and one shot closer to the lead. Always nice, Frank, to put the peg in the ground coming off a of birdie. Well, this game's all about reward, and we just saw that back there. Now, can you be rewarded two holes in a row? Surely not. Birdie try up next. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. That's a head scratcher, no other way to put it. That close to the green and misses it badly to the right. Just a couple of feet. You know, with nine holes to go, bogey's become so much more expensive. Frank, I think this is one of the most fascinating holes on the golf course. The 583-yard par-5 ninth hole. With technology now, a lot more players can reach this par-5 and two. Gone are the days where it was a true three-shotter, but uh, I remember when Sergio Garcia hit that three-wood from what was it, 270, 280 yards? Still one of the best shots I've ever seen. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Now the third shot here at the ninth, Frank. Another very narrow green, not that dissimilar to the first hole. There's a high portion on the left and a low portion on the right. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Not a gimme, but well within his range. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McIlroy. Featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Rich, there's rough and rough. That ball is needle nose down. Can't even see it from here. Not in the fairway, but not too bad. Just in that first cut. This is a good looking shot. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, 
A chance for another one today. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. This is a pretty good performance right here. Six under for the tournament. Now the time to be aggressive. Par five, 558 yard, 11th hole, Frank. What's the key here? Tee it high and let it fly. This is the big chance here. This is one of the widest fairways on the golf course. This is where you chance it all. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Second shot coming up here at the par five. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. This is a cross country special. That's as bad as I have seen. Folks, that one is now on the fringe. Frank, you can feel the momentum shifting. You can. It might look tight at the top at the moment, but uh, you definitely get the impression we're going to see a change in the lead very soon. Beautiful birdie right there. Excellent looking shot here. Good contact, good result. Frank, what has stood out for you watching this player into these wins? A lot of smart decisions. Um, not trying to fight the win, using it, and uh, really just a, a lot of good strikes, one after the other. That is classy. Not a chance of going in. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Chalk that up as a birdie for the scorecard. Well, Rich, two rounds in the books, and it's easy to see why the leaders are on top of that leaderboard. Excellent performance, but still a long ways to go in this tournament.